Hey, a new customer. Whether I am or not, I'm the one you'll speak with. Ranvi tells me you are merchants. Ah, hello, hello! Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? We come on behalf of a thousand eyes, vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child. My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild. A legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus, you look upon Redda! He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. How have you come to know me? The Thousand Eyes have one thousand years as well, and word travels fast. And what is it I can do for you, or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in opal. Interesting. What a strange color it has. May I hold it? You may hold it and keep it, Eivor. A gift from Reda for your immeasurable hospitality. Now look here. Browse what wares I have on offer. Nothing for now? No matter. My selection changes daily. You will soon find something you like. Now that you are friends with me, you are also a friend of the Thousand Eyes as well. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, not the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people, my other eyes. Seek them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them. And you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. An interesting offer. Good to hear. Now if you'll excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. Good day.